what do you guys think mail call video we got a box from gunner dc and a packet from scott williams hey guys the first box is from gunner dc he's a pal from instagram when i review these he's basically the sponsor he didn't he didn't specify anything he just says hey check these out use them review them uh, he's done it before for the review of the Manix. Um, I'll put a link right there. Uh, he let me borrow the Manix and the Tactical Pterodactyl Camper, which was a really cool knife. I was really glad I was using it. I guess you guys want to see this part. And yeah, I'm just not showing the a lot of foam. Just not showing the box because. Um, address is on there, Gunner's address is on there, so, yeah. But, oh, gave me some swag. It's nice of him. That's awesome. There's these two. That's not Master Up, I think. Pretty sure both of these are CVVs. But his new sticker, that's freaking awesome. Thanks, Gunner. Holy crap. I have this sticker from him, circular one. But he just gave me some new swag. Thanks, Gunner. You're... You're the freaking man. But we're here for first impressions, so uh, this is the shredder. It came. It comes with the little pouch and little thingy. Uh, I've had CVVs before. My favorite one that I owned was the Anthropos. Look at that clip. They made the clips a little bit better, so now the screws are recessed on the Anthropos. They were not. Centering of the blade is fantastic. The feel of the G10 is uh, grippy, action, Civivi. I mean, they kill it. Um, a lot of space on this finger choil right here. Jimping feels great. Access to the light interlock is pretty cool. And middle finger flicking action is superb. So that was that one. Under three and a half, which is good. Uh, wow. Ergonomic. So ergonomic feels more ergonomic than the Anthropos. Uh, I guess I'll do a quick size comparison with the AD15, which is what I'm carrying today. It's hard to fit the AD15 in the camera. But there it is. Fantastic little knife. Uh, I believe it's really budget friendly. The, uh, the pouch, and it he did send something else along with the two CVVs. <laughs> Thanks, Gunner. You guys can probably tell what it is. Uh, it comes with this hanky. But uh, this is the CVV Rustic Gent. Jesus. It feels pretty good. Uh, I'm a leather guy myself, so I might be a little bit of a snob. But, I mean, this is free. It comes with the knife. Uh, this is the Rustic Gent. Uh, I believe this down here is Black Micarta. It feels pretty good. This up here is carbon fiber. You get the little letter C for Carlos EDC, of course. Um, the pull it feels really good. Wow, the lockup feels great. Uh, it's ergonomic, a little bit small in my hand. I would have preferred a finger chill up here. The grind is beautiful for a, I believe it's around $70, $80. Uh, the grind is beautiful. The no, this isn't a blood groove. This is called something else. I forget what it is. Um, it's not a slip joint. It's a back lock, much like your Buck 110. But wow, it locks up beautifully. It closes very nicely. There's a half stop to it. Wow. Uh, thus far, I am <laughs> incredibly impressed by both CVVs. Like, I rarely... Uh, I don't know. I'm very impressed because they're, these are budget knives. And I mean, for the 8015, I felt impressed, but this is over $200. You know what I mean? These are under 80 bucks. So I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed by the packaging, by everything from CVV. Uh, and now this is from Mass Drop Pouch. And Jesus, Gunner, you're, you're amazing. Thank you, Gunner. Appreciate you so much. Uh, I believe this one is the Gent from Mass Drop and Ferrum Forge. Um, the grind on it is beautiful. The grind on it actually um, looks very aesthetic. I apologize. Uh, I keep touching the blades and leaving fingerprints. Um, the liner lock is a lot bigger than most liner locks. Thicker, 
it uh, locks up at 50 percent it feels classy the axis for the liner lock is just really smooth it doesn't need like a detent ramp or anything it's just very smooth fall shutty action centered very nicely as you guys can see uh, the clip is dip pocket carry very classy it looks like a pen clip the air goes on it again pretty good feels a little bit small finger trail feels a little bit small too uh, but once you choke up it feels great ergos are great the top of the blade is chamfered top of the blade is chamfered um, the grind the scales they look beautiful the hardware is beautiful very classy knife I believe this is g10 again this is not a review I'm not prepared I didn't even know this was gonna be in the pouch um, wow it locks up it feels amazing uh, the detent ball falls in there beautifully action is great so the blade is under three inches so let, let's uh put the thresher next to it so the thresher it's a lot bigger blade wise and probably a lot bigger uh, overall so yeah a lot bigger this is more of a classy knife this is more of a working knife i like them both very much thus far both black handles Check out Gunner EDC on Instagram. He's an extremely cool guy. I believe these liners, it's more of a frame lock made out of titanium. Super cool. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to review first. Um, this is definitely going to take uh, some time to do. But I'm extremely happy. <laughs> I am very impressed. Uh, I don't know which one my favorite even of these three are. I'm just extremely, extremely happy right now. <laughs> This is cool. Um, but yeah, that was those were my first impressions of these three knives. Very casual video. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. Oh, actually, I'm not even done. One more thing. Uh, this package is from Scott Williams, Big Boar EDC. Um, and since I'm EDCing the 8015, that's what I'm going to open the package with. says re edc for life that's right brother and I, I usually if i get like a letter or a card i usually read it privately because that's what they're for uh big board edc great great channel i watch it all the time uh, i like how he enjoys every single knife so some swag thanks man and i actually won this on a giveaway that he did so if you like giveaways go give him a follow so login shoulder sticker uh, make story tell a story another login shoulder and another login shoulder so this is I believe um, I don't know what month it is honestly but I've been using them now for some time I went with the square um, the square grid rather than the blank uh, I might just I might use this for drawing or I might re-give it away. I don't know. Re-giving away things is kind of not cool. But anyway, um, this was Carlos CDC with some first impressions. I hope you guys had fun. I like them all. Um, yeah, subscribe right there, that little circle. This is uh, this is a video YouTube thinks you should watch, and this is something I usually choose.